today we are getting out of the cage and we are at Carly's Castle. That's right, we have come to another National Trust property, this time just on the border of England and Wales in a little town called Walshpool. We've got the spectacular Powys Castle. Now, the castle is situated on a bit of a hill, so you can just check out behind me. Look at that for a view. And then down here, we've got the gardens and stuff. So we're going to go inside through the castle first, and then we're going to do the gardens after. Okay, so unfortunately there is no filming and photography allowed inside the building, but it is a very impressive house. It's a few rooms, mainly bedrooms, a dining room, but it is really impressive. Some of the stuff that's on display is fantastic, but you can't actually take your cameras in. So if you do want to come and see it, you're going to have to get your passes out, come down and uh, go inside and have a look. What did you think, Fred? It was actually quite good. So now we're down in the main kind of garden area. We're looking to get down on a piece of grass, which has got a great view of the castle um, behind us. Um, but we're not really sure which way we're going. So trying to follow the map and I'm sure we'll find it. So we're just coming to a bit where on the map it just looks like a nice green field. But actually they've left it to grow into a wild meadow. Why have they done that Freya? I have no clue. For the bees. Obviously the UK at the minute they're suffering a little bit. Bees are struggling. So we have been meadows wild meadows like this created across national parks and across council estates and anywhere they can get some wild flowers growing and these are perfect for the bees and i have now just spotted where it says we're going to stop for our picnic there we go right in front of the castle that's going to be be free oh be free be free at least sophie's sophie's gone wild of a wild sophie well check this out, we've got beautiful views over the hills and then you've got the fantastic Powys Castle overseeing all this. What a beautiful spot for a picnic. So we finished our picnic now, we've had something to eat and we're now going to explore the garden. So stick around, let's see what kind of gardens this place has, shall we? What's going on here? Look at this. Why is that plant just wiggling like that? What? Is the plant wiggling? What's doing it? What the hell? What? How is that? I don't know, what's it going on? Is there something on it? Maybe if we roll it still going. Maybe something's on it. No, it's just, it's been going like that for ages. I've been recording for 30 seconds now. How mad that? And it stopped now. So if anyone's into a horniculture, I think that's what it's called when you do plants or whatever. Um, if you know what that's actually doing and going on there, do let us know. I'm wondering if it's like a climbing plant, but it's like moving very quickly. So I don't know. What if it's not a plant? So we're now in the uh, main in the garden area this is where it's all quite beautiful uh, and right here as well you've got a, a tea room what the hell something just dripped on my hand <laughs> what's going on with this place is it haunted something just touched my finger thought a bird pooed on me but obviously i didn't so then fraser's got pinched in the cheek right okay anybody know if this place is haunted because something strange is going on but as i was saying there's a tea room here Tea with ghosts and some toilets as well. So if you are down here and you want to go to the toilet, you can do so. I'd stop for my ice cream. What have you got, Soph? Damon, mummy. What's it called? I don't know. Salero. Mummy's got here, Salero. Cheer up, Freya. <laughs> Gardens are beautiful. And here. As a lovely fountain, which on a hot day like today just makes me want to run up and push Sophie in. Gonna push in, Soph! Gonna push in! Mm -hmm. ah! 
Oh, it's cold. That is just you got so you got there, see it, and then you simply turn around and you just what a spectacular place. A fray of moons by waving a crock in the air. So we just spotted this bench, and I'm gonna sit down on this bench because I want you to experience basically the view we've got and experience we're having right here. So I'm just gonna sit on this bench or so if you just jumped on. Okay, so this is the bench. Daddy, it's hot. Is the bench hot? Put on a sit down and then Wow. Just to show the importance of the flowers with, with the bees. Where's that bee? There we go. Lots of bees around here enjoying these flowers. Look at this for a display. Beautiful. I'm going to go out and say this is one of the best National Trust properties we have visited. It's just spectacular. I know the sun is out and that makes things open that little bit nicer, but just the old view, the atmosphere, the gardens, the greenery, the colours. It's just spot on. Go! <laughs> okay, now my legs hurt. I shouldn't be doing that. We are making our way up now to the gardens just on the castle wall. So looking at that from down below, it did look very colourful, very spectacular. So high hopes that we're gonna have some really good gardens up here as well. Bueno. Let's see what's inside here. Okay. Lovely greenhouse, some beautiful flowers. You can see very well in here, but this is one of the bees. Great, what beautiful flowers as well. <laughs> you got all the beautiful flowers, and then you got this. Get these here, so. Amazing. But thanks for sticking around to this part of the video anyway so far. If you have, then there's a good chance you already have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, That's please consider... You need to, you need to subscribe now. <laughs> or in the polite way, please do it subscribe. We are always coming on adventures like this with our children. So, so we want to show places where people can visit. And if it's you get inspiration from us and want to visit somewhere like this, then please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video so far. So I'm trying to take a really nice photo of the girls in case. Sophie, tell everyone, come here, tell everyone what you did whilst I was taking that nice photo. I trumped on them. It's unbelievable how much it changes from this fantastic, beautiful, man-made gardens to like this area where it's just kind of wild foliage. It's kind of wild on purpose, don't get me wrong, but it just adds an extra dimension to your visit here. So this is the pond. I actually don't think we're going to see much, to be fair, because can't get that close. Yeah, I want to, I want to be a frog. That's a big leaf to you, though. I want to be a frog. You are a frog. Yeah, I want to I've got, got some Freddos in my bag. What's fly? A few, a few dragonflies. I don't know if you can just see them darting about around there. Some blue, blue dragonflies. Some nice butterflies. Oh, there's another dragonfly. Okay, so there was lots of life and there's definitely a lot of stuff going on at the pond. There wasn't really much for us to see, so we couldn't really see any frogs or any toads. But that's because we couldn't really go exploring the way we might do with some other ponds. But ultimately, that's a great way to finish our day here at Powys Castle. It's been a fantastic day out. It's a great place to come if you are a National Trust Pass member. Freya, what's your overall thoughts? Good. There's a lot of cool stuff. And by the way, if you also think the word power sounds like a baby in Paris, please like. Yeah, so you obviously you've got the castle, that's fantastic to go and look at. Um and then you've got the garden, so it's been a spectacular day. It's a shame we can't show you inside the castle, but it is worth the visit, trust me. As I said before, if you do like this video, do it, subscribe and check out this other video where we visited another National Trust property. Enjoy.